a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Keep and bear, not own. Dick, 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 dick. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's gonna get weird. Booster shot, mission accomplished. And it is, it is time to stop coddling them. The ones who won't get the damn shot already. Hi everybody, Harry Carey here. And our first step, you and I, is symbols the language we use. We call these people vaccine hesitant, vaccine skeptics, anti-vax. We say they're protesting mandates and passports. They're making a personal choice. They're waiting for more information. They're making a medical decision. Bullshit. They're afraid. They're afraid to get vaccinated. Stop feeding their egos about what they're doing. Stop legitimizing it. Vaccine hesitant. They're afraid. That's just nasty. Vaccine skeptics? They're afraid. Anti-vax? They're afraid. They're protesting mandates in passports. They're afraid. They're making a personal choice. They're afraid. They're waiting for more information. Afraid. They're making a medical decision to be afraid. The snowflakes are afraid. Afraid of the vaccine. Afraid of being proved wrong. Afraid of doing what anybody else in the world tells them to do. Afraid of needles. So, no more pleasant euphemisms about what's going on here. Apart from the people who have legitimate medical complications about vaccines, we have to stop coddling the morons who will not get the shot. We start by calling them what they are. They are all snowflakes and cowards and idiots and losers. Boy, if that isn't the pot calling the kettle black. And most importantly, they are... Afraid!